Hello, my name is Julia Black. I'm Neil Pond. And we'd like to share with you our experience of connecting with nature while living under lockdown. Yeah, but not just lockdown, because we're actually shielding, so we're not even going for a walk. So all that time is spent in our garden. And here is our garden. As you can see, it was in the middle of a makeover when lockdown happened. We've taken up all the lawn, dug a massive hole for a pond, and that's when it had to stop. I'm interested in plants and thought I'd have a look around the garden and see if I could find any wildflowers. And these are some of the things I found. Firstly, I found some dog's mercury. We've also got forget-me-nots and barren strawberry. Lots of ivy-leaved toad flax. Dog violets. And some field wood rush, though it's not looking quite as good as it was last week. We have a lovely little liverwort on our patio, Marcantia polymorpha. Here you can see the male plant with the disc-like receptacles. And here is the female plant. The receptacles have got finger-like projections. I would love to know what this is, and also what this is. You said we'd like to find out about a couple of these plants. Could you not ask the people in your botany class? Actually, I could, because I'm in a, a WhatsApp group that's formed by a number of people in Janet Simpkins' plant groups and uh, people have been posting photographs on their various walks of wonderful flowers and there's lots of discussion going on so I think that'd be a pretty good place to, uh, to ask people what we've got. Yeah, and I set up a WhatsApp group for David Noble Rollins' Tuesday bird class and you've enjoyed some of that too. I have, so we hadn't heard any willow warblers before lockdown and somebody posted a recording of a willow warbler against the babbling of a lovely river. It yeah, was, and fantastic. today of course we also had the first cuckoo uh, not here in Forest Hall, I might add, but uh, we heard one on the WhatsApp group, which was great. And when the WhatsApp group started, I was able to post a picture I'd taken of a night jar, which took people by surprise until they realised I posted it on April the 1st. So one of the things you normally like doing is taking photographs of birds. Yeah. You can't really do that now. No, my long lens is now redundant because uh, uh, there's not many birds I can see. But... I've gone back to macro photography, taking pictures of the smaller things in the garden. Bees, because of the NHSN Great North Bee Hunt, uh, hoverflies, butterflies, and even a sycamore aphid. What about these mining bees? There's been quite a few mining bees around. Yeah, this one, I have. I, 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 and we've even seen their holes, but that's probably because our garden is a bit like the Somme and is just plain earth, and they've been burrowing into it. So we're learning a little bit about them as well, aren't we? We are. This is the hole that's been dug ready for the pond and this is where the mining bees like to hang out. Let's see if we can find some. Honeybees seem to like Architoniaster. So how have you got on with identifying bumblebees? <laughs> uh, well, uh, it's not easy, but I've had a great lot of help from Charlotte and NHSN, who's really responds quickly to my photographs and I'm now, yeah, I think I'm getting there. I know the difference between the garden worker and the early worker and I think I can tell a hoverfly from a bee, Good. just about. So it's not just macro photography you've been doing then? No, I've got my uh, personally constructed supports for our two trail cameras and we've had some great footage of hedgehogs, up to three hedgehogs at some nights as well. Yeah, so even though we've been isolated, I've certainly felt connected with nature in the garden and also connected by other people. Yeah, the communication we've had from the NHSN and seeing people posting their videos, I think it's all helped us to, uh, to feel a bit more connected with nature than we thought we might have been. Yeah, and I always tune in to Chris Friend's Trog Trog blog 
uh, and do my own blog as well and that helps me think about what I'm saying and what I'm seeing it's, uh, and it's been a great learning experience too with the bees, hoverflies, especially the things I've enjoyed connecting with. Yeah, and even though we thought our garden was a complete <laughs> disaster and a bomb site, <laughs> it's shown that there's actually quite a lot going on here and uh, until we can get out and start enjoying the rest of the world, we'll uh, continue to enjoy our garden. Oh, and what we can also mention is our empty pond actually revealed a newt this morning. Yay! Nature <laughs> com comes again. <laughs>